Being that this is a multi-process machine, being able to switch from one process to the other is pretty important and very easy to do on the Fabricator 252i. For me to go from MIG, which we were just using, I'm going to switch over, press the LED, press the button to go into process. LED is going to light up for the stick welding. Now with the stick welding, it's going to be very simple again to change your amperage. Your amperage is going to be adjusted here. So I'm going to run a 7018 180 electrode. I'm going to run at about 115 amps. So that's going, to, that's going to be the setup there. Now we have to be able to bring power to the stinger. So what you're going to do is you're going to unattach the, uh, the power pin going to the, the MIG gun. You can leave the MIG gun in and you just insert the DINS connection into the stinger and you're ready to go for the, uh, the stick weld in there. Then we go into advanced features with the stick welding. You're going to find that we're going to have a hot start. Now what a hot start is going to allow you to do is have uh, a, a, a higher amperage start to begin with, which is going to allow a, a faster penetration into a cold plate. So hot start on. The first thing it's going to tell us to do is select the time. So you can have the, the duration of this, the, this higher amperage uh, adjusted, and then what you're going to have is going to be a percentage of that amperage in which we initially started. So in this case, we're going to have 140% of 115 amps. And that's going to give us our hot start. Now the frequency of this machine is running extremely high. It's going to be actually be running at uh, 750 times the, the hertz as a, a standard machine. So you're going to hear the electrode actually chirp at you. This chirping is normal uh, for this machine and it's actually letting you know that it's welding very, very nicely. Another one of the big features with this machine is that when you try to restart a 7018 electrode, you're always going to have that glassy ball over the end of the electrode, which is always difficult to restart. With this unit, that restart is very easy. Starting a 7018 electrode, a lot of students when they're starting out will get really frustrated and just trying to get the arc established. So I brought this machine into a college and uh, had a student that was having a very difficult time. I gave him the machine, he started up his electrode right away, stopped, did a restart. The instructor came up to me afterwards and said thank you for showing him that feature. I'm pretty sure you just saved me from losing that student.